Hey everyone, it's been quite a while since the last video, and I guess for this reason I've run into a issue this week, and it's sort of a common one, I would say. Actually, someone recently pinged me about a similar issue, so I guess other people might benefit from this. Now, basically, why don't we take a look inside the lab here and see what kind of issue are we dealing with. Ooh, your license for ESXi has expired. Aha, okay. So basically in this lab here, we have two locations where licenses have expired potentially. One is the host that we have, and the other one is the vCenter. Now, my problem here is that since my host expires, it also means I can't get my vCenter to start up. And uh, so I can't get to the vCenter to replace the license to the host so I can start the vCenter, which is okay. But it also means I have to get to the host and get it fixed first. Quite an easy fix. So we basically go to manage it. I've logged into the ESXi vSphere host client directly. Go to manage, go to licensing, click on assign license. We'll have to go and find our key. I have one handy right here. I'll copy that in license it's okay click assign license and that is basically it now the only thing that's a bit of an issue now is we didn't get the visa up and running so i'll make sure that we actually get these machines here powered on and then i'll pause the video and we'll resume when they are up and running and then i'll show you how we can replace the license keys inside the visa as well. All right, so it looks like the vCenter finally came up. So let's go here and log in with our single sign on administrator account. And naturally, we should expect to see some expired licenses inside, but that's okay. There we go. All right, so first of all, we see the hosts have expired licenses, but we also see the vCenter. And there's a nice little warning up here, so we can actually just click right on that. In case you don't have that, let me show you. So if we go back to the menu, okay, so we scroll down, scroll down, we see administration. You can also click here, go down to licensing, click on licenses, and this is the same place we would see this. So actually, I'm going to add in uh, two new licenses here, because one will be for the vSender, and the other one will be for my hosts inside the vCenter. Click next. Okay, so then I have to give them some names. I'm very fortunate to get my licenses from the vExpert program. And my name. Click next, click finish. So the licenses are now added, but technically I'm not actually using them for anything. So we have to go to Assets, select the vCenter, click Assign License, select the new license, click OK. Then go to Hosts, I'll select all of my hosts, click Assign License, say yes, I want to perform this action on multiple objects, yes. Select the new key and click OK. And then we can basically get rid of this and we can see this green checkbox on all of them. And that is basically that. But let's go to hosts and clusters and just kind of take a look. So here we still see the warning and yeah, we can say reset to green on all of these. And if we see here those on maintenance mode, that's OK. Let's see what's going on over here. Ah, some uh, warnings or something. I'm sure that will solve itself. I just recently powered on the lab again after some downtime. So that should be all good. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.